So t today we're very much promoting the throw line uh, sign that you can actually see next to me. These are the first ones we've got actually in Surrey, but what we're aiming to do is actually extend them through by working with Elmbridge and Spelthorne, have them through the whole stretch of the River Thames within, within Surrey. The aim of this sign is to give instruction and give a, a means of carrying out rescue with the throw line that's inside. So the way to actually work it, it with the information on top, what we want people to do is when they see somebody in trouble, we want them importantly to call 999 and ask for the fire service. At that point, when they say they've got somebody in the, in the river, you know, you'll be asked for a number. What this number did, it does, it actually tells us exactly where you are so we can mobilise assets to the actual point that you're calling from. From that, the caller will give you a, a number and the number will allow you to get open this box and get the line, line out. By having it secured like that, we know there's a line in there. And from that, and the instructions on the sign, then you'll actually take the line out, and you unclip the band around the neck of the line, and then you're actually ready to go and carry out a rescue and potentially save someone's life. By doing this, we've actually tested it, it saves an immense amount of time, rather than an individual trying to carry out a rescue, then decide to actually call us. But as soon as you make that call to us, as I say, you not only let us know where you are, but you allow us to then start mobilising the police and importantly the ambulance service. So you have all the emergency services you actually need. And then once you've got the line out and you've taken the clip from around the neck, then you need to actually phone, uh, throw the line to the casualty. Running Mead is very proud to support this campaign with our colleagues because safety on the water is so important and for people to be rescued, kept safe and sound. Sorry, Fire and Rescue Service take any uh, intervention with the community to its heart. One of the key things around any form of uh, rescue unfortunately does fall under water quite often. Uh, in fact, statistically, we've had more fatalities through water rescue with 20 over the last five years in comparison to fire um, deaths, which have been 16 over the last five years. So therefore, we, we have to make sure we interact with our communities to make them safe when they're out in, in, in their general day-to-day -day life. Well, 255 people drowned last year in, in and around water. Um, a significant drop on previous years, but we still need the 255 lives that are lost. Can they all be rescued? Yes, but they need, that rescue needs to be supported by education, influence and change of behaviours in and around water. The fact we've got the, the boards, we've got the throw lines, <laughs> we're building the understanding and the knowledge of the general public on how to engage with people that are possible potential casualties within the water. We just like to reduce the amount of incidents on the, uh, the waterways. We have quite a lot of water here in Runnymede, and in fact the Thames runs through a, a lot of Surrey. Predominantly is people that are out having their picnic enjoying their alcohol and then getting very warm and thinking it's a suitable thing to jump in the river or in the lakes. We would ask that people don't do that, especially if they're under the influence of alcohol. The rivers and the lakes are very cold and uh, people do go into shock quite quickly and it takes a lot of time for us and our partner agencies to try and come and rescue these people before it's too late.